So, we flash this in. We counter the ability. Now the ability is no more on the card. So that's how the song works. Very good. Hmm. Let's do rest first. Okay, we get the skull spore out of our hand. Now, after that, because of that, my friends, is a scary card. Exile the Atali. Okay. Tishara says no. So that is something we don't have to worry about anymore. We can't block. Oh, it doesn't have flying. Whoa, I forgot it takes away the flying. <laughs> yes. We win. Target ourselves. No dog or whatever or whatever. Just gonna be a siphon we already used. Could hit the dog or could hit the deluge. What up? It's your boy back with another list here. This is Demir again. Yes, it's sort of the um, refined version with some discard added. Now, this is very similar to the deck that I posted just a few days ago, um, but we added Urtai. So, Urtai is in here. can destroy something and counter an ability. And we do have three duresses to just get some non creature stuff that can mess us up out of our hand. And where we're leaning into the Aklazote strategy, right? So when this guy comes down, it's big. And when he does go to the graveyard, we bring him back with Dick's Command. Oh, sorry, I almost forgot. No way out, baby. I was like, what was the other card? <laughs> this is discard two. You do create some board presence, which can be relevant for pylon. And it can just be some extra damage later on when you finally have a clean enough swing, right? So we, just, we cut down our copies of Hero's Downfall, one copy of Lord Skitter, but we still have the Malcolm at three, and we have four Deep Cavern Bats to get more stuff out of their hand, right? The only counter spell we actually have is Syncopate, which is really nice, and Spell Pierce, rather. So, yeah. And then Fading Hope's in here to help us buy some momentum. We do have a cut down as well, just to destroy something early. Siphon Insight is a way of taking advantage of a graveyard and the discard triggers from Malcolm. Now, we do have this and Tenacious Underdog, which is really, really good. And we also have uh, Memory Deluge, which we could take advantage of uh, if that does discard. So all these things can get residual value. We do have a chart of course in here now to take advantage of the Malcolm, which is a really good card to go up in card advantage because we have some really evasive creatures, right? So we might as well do that. Um, Aether Chandler sneaks in here because it does buy us a lot of time if it does return a very high CMC cost, um, which is really, really good. And it can just be a two, two damage trunk blocker, which is nice. Or if we really need that flyer, we can do that, right? So that's pretty good. We do have the memory delusion here, obviously. The grafted identity at the floor drop slot, which is hilarious, but it's really, really good. And this is also another you know reason to have a bird, maybe. And we grafted identity into something big. And this is just a huge momentum swing. So there it is. Of course, two shouldreds, the pylon we've seen. The Gix Command is at 2, and we do have an Ashiok in here, which gets us a lot of card advantage and just creates some chunk blockers, helps us win the game as well. So the package is really similar. We do have three Restless Reefs, which is the Mill 4-4 Shark card for Demir, right? Um, really good creature land. We have three. You don't necessarily need it, but it does help. And when it does mill like a Siphon Insight or an Underdog into the graveyard, you feel really good, right? So just a little discard sort of sprinkled in here with three copies of really, really good cards each. And then we do, of course, have Aklazos. So really strong stuff today. Demir is a lot of fun to play. You can sort of do it a different way. And I like that this is just very similar to the deck that we built. So we're going to see if this card makes a big enough impact. So much love. I've been hugely appreciating the support. You guys are amazing. And I'll keep, I'll keep the content coming for you. So be on the lookout for that. Hugely appreciate that. And uh, let's get into the gameplay. Okay, so here we are, first game. Thanks for checking out the gameplay. You rock. I don't care what they say about you. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll probably bat, but we could end up Malcolm. Kind of depends. We have the options. Because we're just that cool. Tishana and Sewer King are really good. Three drops to have in our hand, too. So, let's go ahead and bat because it's a safe bat. We see this in our hand. We might be able to take some removal. Okay, so they want to ramp. Gala Greeters is going to play turn two. So I think that buys us a lot of momentum. Plus the treasures and stuff are super duper annoying. So let's go ahead and do this. Malcolm and the AO. Okay. We need that mana on the top that we can try to be counter Okay. So we'll probably Tishana's. 
Let's discard the siphon because we can cast it again later. What is best appropriate? Let's see what happens. So, we flash this in. We counter the ability. Now the ability is no more on the card. So that's how the song works. Very good shit. Sewer King's not bad. Let's do that before combat. We're going and we're putting the pressure on before they can do their thing. Okay. Got him with the power is really relevant against that dinosaur. Okay, we can discard probably the deluge because we don't want to cast it right now in this game. It's too slow. I say we're just going to slap down our Shouldred, try to duress Underdog, and eventually Ashiok our way to victory. That's a card that exists. I mean, I have a lot of mana. It's not like I can distract it, but... And it begins. <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. Ah, yes. The old shot, of course. Yes, yes. Beautiful. Of course. <laughs> okay, so we can probably still win if we deal with this bat somehow, right? Hmm. Let's do rest first. Okay, we get the skull spore out of our hand. Now, after that, because of that, my friends, is a scary card. Let's exile the Atali, for sure. Let's swing. This is just a galley greeters. We need to put the pressure, so I feel like we do. We do have to swing here. We're going to discard a card here, which could get us, well, let's discard the dog. Okay, now it's in our graveyard for later, but more importantly, we have a flyer, which is how we're going to win. Is the flyers. We actually can cast Ashley off and knock into blue. Strength it, so it gets it. But it does have a reach frog now with the two mana, so that's serious. So that is very, very serious. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens. Would be well. Let's see what happens. Would be well. Yeah, we're putting them in a pretty good pickle with our flyers. I mean, taking Gisaf out was pretty good. I know I pronounced that perfectly, so we're all good. Dang, the double Itali trigger, and they still get nothing. That Tishana's Tide Binder was huge, obviously. As well. So, they could be just giving up. This could be a GG. So I guess I'll talk about something. Lord Skitter's Exile Hate is really, really good and definitely overlooked. Um, I feel like Convoking with Lord Skitter is really, really good. I have a Convoke deck, by the way. I have tons of decks for the meta, so I would, if you haven't, uh, you know, give it a scroll through. You might find one that you really, really like um, or that you have rares and stuff for. Because um, I pretty much hit all of the archetypes, except for, like, some green decks. They're, like, soldiers I haven't done. Um, but it looks like we're in a really, really, really good position. So we could do rest now, but we go ahead and just win the game. I'll cut to the end once we win if, if they stall it out. So. Alright, so he did rope us out. But we got the victory, you guys. That was a really good, patient way of playing that. Um, obviously, you can see the power of the deck there. Let's go ahead and get to another one. Alright, game two. Thanks for sticking around. I don't care what they say about you. I gotta stop saying that. <laughs> Let's 
go ahead and hit him with a Restless Reef. Because we're restless. It's so Rakdos? Hopefully it's not Oni Cult and The Iron Friend. A lot of ramp. Magis over here. Let's hit him with the bat to see what is going on. The Lord Skitter is pretty annoying. They're going to deck it in Dragon, but I think that's more annoying than else. Like, they're gonna cast the 3 draw probably. Oh, that's a draw. Oh no, there's not the three draw. Which is really good for us. It's really good for us. Indeed! Let's do this. Boom! The pressure has been applied, baby. It's over. It's s s s s s s o over. Okay, they get back their skitter. They can cast it. It's gonna be fine because of Gig's command. Which we love. Which we love. We love. Which we love. What the uh oh. Um, so. We can just hold out Gix, uh, Syncopate or Tishana. We don't swing. It's kind of an awkward turn. Depending on what they do here, we can make some momentum happen. A shield driven A. Well, if I do this for two, you can't pay it. And you're about. So we got rid of shoulder. Okay. Let's block the Lord Skitter because we'll just use Gix command. No. <laughs> okay, we get our own Lord Skitter, which is pretty good. Let's Gix command very aggressively here to put counters and then destroy their bullet, right? Because these rats are a lot. Nice little difference of 8 there, going up to 22, feeling like a hot bullet. Now our guy is actually a creature too, which is pretty good. We like having actual creatures. Second dragon, okay. We're still gonna take 4. Still gonna take 4. Ooh, Lord Skitter holding up Siphon and Spell is really good. So let's go ahead. Let's get rid of their Skitter. Okay. Feeling good, man. Boom, bam. Okie dokie, all the chokies. Graveyard Trespasser coming in hot. Okay, they are getting rid of our gigs. Not that we had any way of getting, getting it back. Okay, it's a blood tie. Not too shabby from them. Not too shabby. No removal, which we were hoping for. We can spell pierce it. Let's go ahead and siphon somehow. Let's see what we get. A swamp. Love to see it, folks. We could siphon and Tishana this turn. Which is pretty nice. And they do blood tokens. Okay. Opponent coming in hot. Hmm. So. The Restless Reef Swing is pretty nasty in addition with these. But we don't want to go too aggressive. Let's swamp. See what we get. It's a blood tide. We can actually lay this and hold up a spell. Bell Pierce, which might be interesting. Let's go ahead and swing. With just this guy. 
I think when they swing, we'll neutralize Decadent Dragon and block the Graveyard Trespasser. Perhaps. Depends on what occurs. Okay. Tishana says no. So that is something we don't have to worry about anymore. We can't block. Oh, it doesn't have flying. Whoa, I forgot it takes away the flying. <laughs> Sir, you got out the plate. Sorry, that was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, um, let's blood tide. Okay, we will absolutely do this. Let's just put our tab man, even though the life is kind of tempting. Depends on what we get here. Okay, so we can do both. So if we swing, hmm, we have to. Do it. Oh, I can count my own spell. That's what, it's, that's what it's saying. I was like, it's not an ability, right? It's like, yo, so smart. Okay, the clock is on. We have the Restless Reef. That's a shoulder. That's pretty good. Let's draw. Dang. Now, if we swing here, we do four damage. She's gonna be gaining life. So if we rest this reef, yes, we win. Target ourselves. No dog or whatever or whatever. It's gonna be a siphon we already used. Could hit the dog or could hit the deluge. But there it is, on a platter, baby. On a platter. <laughs> you can't block with the rats, you silly goober. <laughs> so there we go. You can see the power. Um, yeah, you know. The discard fits in really nice. The second game, we didn't really do too much discard or whatever. But we still have that nice, you know, Demir package from a couple days ago that's been working pretty good. And the first game showed off some of the discard and the power of the bat and all of the synergy. So I think that was a you know successful day of playing. I actually recorded earlier, but I didn't hit the record button. I had my window uh, recording my Pokemon browser instead of the game, so that was kind of annoying. But at least you got something today that was you know decent. And I love you. Take care.